Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today word is, God said, my protection is over your life. God protection is over your life. I know some of you that's watching me right now, some of you have been struggling. Some of you have been like, Lord, I'm scared. I don't know if somebody coming after me, I don't know what's going on in my life. And I want you to know that God protection is over you. You don't have to worry about if somebody gonna shoot you, if somebody gonna kill you, if somebody gonna do something to you. God have your back. Some of you may be afraid, you think somebody gonna break into your house, you scared, you think somebody gonna do something to you. God have you, he have you. The Bible verse I want to read to you is Psalms 32 and 7, and it reads, You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I want you to know that God will deliver you. Something happened to you in your past, and I want you to know your past is hunting you in the name of Jesus. Your past is hunting you, but your past will not overtake you in the name of Jesus. Whatever happened to you in your past, the lifestyle you used to live, you don't live no more. And the devil is attacking you because he knows your purpose. He will try his best to remind you of the things that you had got delivered from. Some things that you did in your past have been hunting you. Yes, you was living your life on the street. Yes, you was living your life as a prostitute. Yes, you've been living your life as certain reasons because you had to do it. God, protection is over your life. Stop worrying about what the devil is talking about and worry about what God has for you. The devil will tell you, oh, you're going to die. God don't care about you because he's trying to deceive you. He's trying to do his best to block your blessings. By believing him, you got to believe God and not Satan. The devil will do just enough to distract your mind. You have to be willing to put your faith, your trust, your belief, your hope, everything in God. Trust God. God is your hiding place. People looking for you, they searching for you, they can't find you because God been hiding you these years. All I'm saying to you is continue to put your praise, put your praise in God. So I worried about, oh God, I feel like these people found me. Let me tell y'all, when you doing God's will, people are going to want to kill you. And I'm going to be honest with you, they're going to want to hurt you. They're going to want to do things to you. But God won't let people touch you because you are protected and you are in his will. You got to understand when you in the will of God, God got you for life, baby. God got you for life. I mean, nothing going to happen to you. I don't care if they trying to shoot a bullet at your foot. It ain't going to work. It won't aim. People trying to aim bullets. People trying to aim things at you. It won't work. Allow God to be your protection. Stop trusting a gun. Stop trusting knives. Stop trusting pepper spray and all this crazy stuff out here. So, oh, I got to walk around with a gun. I got to walk around with a pocket knife. I got to walk around with all this stuff. Yes, self-defense is important, but God is important too. You got to learn how to pray. Some of you, you need protection. God is your protection. When you going to trust God, will for your life. When you going to trust God enough so God can pull away certain things. God can pull those people away from you, but he needs you to pray. God needs you to fast. Some of you have a bad dream. Some of you have a bad things going on in your life because you are not putting God first. You got to learn how to put God first and let God do what he needs to do in you. Stop trying to be like everybody else and be what God wants you to be. And do what God is asking you to do. God is your protection. He will protect you. God will protect your life from harm. Some of you are having bad dreams. Some of you 
my thinking things. Oh my God, I don't know what may happen in my future. Give it to God and allow God's will to be done. I just want to say to you, continue to be encouraged. Stay focused. Be determined to do whatever you need to do. Fight for Jesus and stay with God and know that God is fighting for you each and every day. You want to stay in the will of God and know that God is your protection. He is over you. He will guard you and protect you all the days of your life. I just want to say continue to be encouraged. Keep fighting for the things that you want God to do in your life and stand on it. When God do something for you, stand on it and use it. Use it against the devil. Tell the devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against my life shall prosper. You are a child of God. You use your words and you hold your Bible up. Some of you, when you talk to Satan, you hold that Bible up and you yell the Bible verses at him so he can flee from you. So put everything in the will of God and let God protect you. God got you. He will never leave you or forsake you. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Have a great, beautiful day. I love you. Be encouraged. Keep fighting for Jesus. He wants the best for you. And he wants you to get out of drama. He wants you to remove yourself from confusion. God is your protection. And God will help you to get to where you need to go. So keep your head up. Be strong. And know that God will help you to get to where you need to go. Don't worry about who's talking about you. Let people talk. As long as they don't touch you, all is well. God got you. They won't be able to do anything. You may see a dream. You may have a vision about it. But it don't it won't happen. So let God take care of it. You know, some of you like, oh, I had this dream, I had this vision that this person will come after me. Give it to God and allow God's will to be done in your life. So I love you all. I want to say continue to be encouraged, stay focused, and be determined to do everything that God has for you. Don't give up. Pray about all things. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.